Hello, my name is Joey Lopez, and I'm a professor at the University of the Incarnate Word. I recently invited Mark Burnett, a STEM consultant, to come and give a demo of some of his curriculum to my class, Convergent Media One. The students were quickly exposed to design thinking, a pedagogy that allows students to use the methodology to identify a problem, ideate, come up with a solution, prototype it, and present it all within one class. The students used Makey Makeys, an interface that was originally designed and developed by some students at the MIT Media Lab. The Makey Makey allows students to quickly interface with the computer through USB and some simple wires. The students used cardboard, conductive copper, and tape and scissors to create solutions to the problems that Mark presented them with. You know, we normally come be where they're like left-handers, they put their watches on their right hand. And so, um, so you can just like, it's saying it looks cool, you know, and then so he can just like be, you know, chilling, you know, he's sitting down and, and using his, uh, his index finger and uh, the thumb for the space bar, of course. And uh, uh, that's pretty much, um, I think that the challenge with it was trying to draw the arrows, like uh, we were uh, making them all the same size and she was pretty good, like for the first try, like that was, I'm, I'm not a good artist, so she was really good. And uh, also making the circle, um, and um, oh, and a rubber band, like uh, that was our other challenge, was trying to get like a band to go around it. And uh, but once we got everything like all wired up, it was it was pretty cool. So yeah. awesome. Yeah. Okay, so we made a two part um, a two part controller. So the first side is a. Um, up, down, left, and right, and we made it with water bottles, so that way, no matter how they rest their hand, they can either go up, down, oh, left, right, with their hand. Um, <laughs> and then, on the, because we, oh, sorry, case study number two, we did Dominique, so she only has um, a use of her thumb, so I didn't, we didn't know how her um, hand was, so we made her a rest, um, and then the space bar and clip would just be, um, tapping with her thumb so that way she could use her full use of her left hand and then just her thumb on her right. So, that's so cool. Cool. That's awesome. That's really cool. So ours is kind of um, a two part thing. We also did case study number one with Scott um, and so it says that he's in a wheelchair so we decided to kind of use his wheelchair as a controller. So we have two parts. We have an arm board that would go on the arm of the wheelchair um, you have a rubber band that would connect the ground with um, the like alligator clip that we have. So he would just rest on it, and then the up and down button um, is a binder clip, so he would just up and down. And then the footboard we have, um, he would just have to be barefoot, or they would get conductive socks like mm -hmm. we were talking about. Yeah, so um, press on right and left with his different feet. And he would just lay his foot on on each okay. one, yeah. So he wouldn't have to do too much movement because his arm is already resting on the ground space, so he would just have to touch, touch, and then touch with his right foot and touch with his left foot. Okay, uh, well, we were on case study number one, um, and so uh, Scott only is able to use his index finger and his thumb. So we just made a, like an extra attachment that would go onto the armrest of uh, his chair. So we had the home uh, be like an area for the bottom of his wrist. So uh, you could always be in contact of it. Um, and then just uh, using the different areas for up and down and to the right. And it's just really simple actually. Uh, but um, I think that's pretty much about it. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. It's I like how you guys actually made the whole armchair. Yeah, yeah. Like we wanted to make the uh, armrest because it's going to be for to go on top of the armrest, so we wanted to get real life feel for it. And so that's the Very nice. We took forever to do it. Um, so uh, we were thinking what would be cheap for someone, and everybody uses water bottles. So um, we thought we'd use an old water bottle. 
and uh, water bottles are made to fit pretty much everybody's hand. We picked the person number two and they have their full left hand so we thought you can wrap your hand around a water bottle so we decided that the up and down will be for the thumb. Uh, the pinky on the bottom is the ground so it's like you're just always holding it with your pinky anyways and then the other two buttons here. Cool. Anything to add, Albert? Just get everything. <laughs> Here are some of the students' reactions to the day's activities. Uh, basically, we just learned how to uh, create our own design, um, like a game controller, and um, I we did the watch thing, and uh, basically for people with. Uh, uh, muscle dy dystrophy, so um, that's basically what we did today, just uh, making game game control. Um, yeah. What did you learn from the day? Um, actually, it's, it's really weird to say, but I learned maybe a little bit more how to approach my final project um, in Xcode, and this has nothing to do with Xcode, but just the idea behind what he was saying, the way he thought of making these new um, keyboards, it just gave me a different idea of how to approach different projects. So for example, instead of just like going into Xcode and just seeing what I can do, I could actually just like draw it out on like post-its or something like that. So it helped me out in a lot of other areas aside from just doing making making stuff. This is really cool. Mark's ability to teach and create this curriculum was truly amazing to watch and something that we really enjoyed and would like to thank him for coming to the Convergent Media One class at the University of the Incarnate Word.